Barely there gowns, bombshell cutouts, and skin-tight snakeskin. Is this modest Southern belle serving up too much show-and-tell? Here's how Savannah Chrisley stuns when she's stepping out. Savannah went all out for the 52nd Annual Academy of Country Music Awards in 2017, and her look was the definition of snatched. As Savannah revealed on Instagram, her gown was designed by Bao Tran Chi, with a clutch by Tadashi Shoji. The event marked Savannah's first outing since she was seriously injured in a car accident. But she looked so glamorous, you would have never even guessed she was still on the mend. Of course, her dad Todd, who was reporting live for E! News that night, gave her a hard time about the cutouts. This is a family channel, so therefore we're not going to let all this be seen on television. Oh, beautiful. Well, you better hope nothing pops out. To that, a then 19-year-old Savannah explained, You have to make a statement somehow. I'm covered. When it comes to memorable evening wear, this girl knows what she's doing. And another one of Savannah's stunning looks made its appearance at the 2016 ACM Awards in Vegas. The silvery floor-length gown was created by Diana Couture, and her clutch came from accessory designer Fiona Couture. This dress was even more sheer than her black cutout gown, but it gave off a completely different vibe. It threw back to the era of 1920s flapper glam. And she fit right in with the rest of the celebrity crowd, with Carrie Underwood, Kimberly Perry, and Dolly Parton all rocking similar styles. Please tell me when you see a runway model walking like this. <laughs> no, this is so stupid. That, that literally makes no sense whatsoever. Before she was a fashion designer, podcaster, and reality star, Savannah was an aspiring professional model. And when it came to the formal wear segment at the 2016 Miss Teen USA competition, Savannah wore a Sherry Hill strapless princess dress in a gorgeous deep plum. With her hair done up in curls, she looked a bit like Marilyn Monroe, but the resemblance was likely no accident. I was so proud at how elegant and how poised she was and how confident she was in that gown. As evidenced by Savannah's early Instagram posts, Marilyn was a huge inspiration. In 2014, she shared a quote from the iconic movie star, posting, "'Success makes so many people hate you. It would be wonderful to enjoy success without seeing envy in the eyes of those around you." Savannah added her own take to the post, writing, "'When you start to become successful, you begin to see who was real and who really wasn't in your life.'" Savannah slays in snakeskin, no cap. And it turns out, she had a hand in designing these printed pants. In 2019, the actor debuted her limited edition collab with Rampage. On social media, she called this outfit her favorite of the entire collection, Rampage by Savannah Chrisley. She was clearly big into the snakeskin look at the time, and the line featured a top, pants, and blazer in the same print. Obviously crushing her passion, she posted to Instagram, I could not be more excited. Even her family was dressed in head-to-toe rampage by Savannah Chrisley for the event. But this reality star didn't stop there. Since then, she went on to collaborate on a collection of tie-dye loungewear with the brand Feet. And in 2020, she also launched her very own beauty line called Sassy by Savannah. As she explained on her company website, Sassy is a nickname that was given to me by my brother Chase. When I apply Sassy by Savannah, I feel a confidence like I have never felt before. It's a dream come true, so thank you so much. <laughs> As loyal fans know, Savannah was almost legally hitched to Nick Curdilis. And for the couple's seaside engagement shoot, Savannah wore a breezy patterned dress on the beach in Santa Monica in spring 2019. The low-cut design was soft, feminine, and casual, and absolutely perfect for a romantic date. Savannah met Nick through social media several years before getting engaged in 2019. But by 2020, the two were officially over. As the star shared on Instagram, Nick and I have decided to call it quits. We have nothing but love, respect, and admiration for one another. But it's time for us to move forward individually. In all honesty, we're too successful, too good looking to be anything but happy. In 2021, rumors started to buzz about a potential reunion between the two. When Savannah confirmed to E! News, Nick is still in my life. We're still trying to figure things out. We're at a point in our lives when we're learning so many different things and growing, and we're just trying to find a balance, as well as just truly figuring out ourselves and what we want out of life, and just take it day by day. 
With Savannah's hair perfectly pooped in combination with her short, bright pink dress, a teenage Savannah became her own version of Malibu Barbie for the NBC upfronts in 2014. While various shades of pink always seem to be in style, this bright pink is definitely more of a statement color. With origins in royalty and feminist figures, the color was popularized in America after First Lady Mamie Eisenhower wore the color at her husband Dwight's presidential swearing-in. These days, it's still very much a go-to color that no one can take their eyes off of. Speaking of pink, in 2017, Savannah donned a rosy short suit to hit the CMT Music Awards red carpet. Clearly a shoe in for best dressed, the star wore the flirty look again in 2020 for an E! Daily Pop segment. Thanks to Gen Z's love of thrift store shopping, the business blazer became more popular than ever in 2022. So who knows? We may see Savannah rocking this design again in the near future. The business on the top, party on the bottom look can easily be dressed up or down. Pairing the blazer with pants would make for a professional look, but one that's still fresh and fun, thanks to the color. For her 2019 guest appearance on Home and Family, Savannah brought all the vintage vibes in the slinkiest jumpsuit. Looking just like Sandra D in the movie Grease, this body contouring look is both classy and also a little flirty. She rocked a similar jumpsuit at the 2016 BMI Awards, so it appears the style just may be a favorite of hers. Cutesy ruffles aside, it's definitely one of the star's edgier looks. I mean, I do have a little bit of a problem when it comes to my shopping. Six years later, cat suits were trending in 2022. And as Net-A-Porter's senior market editor Libby Page told Elle, designers have fully embraced this new wave of sexy dressing. Through everything from cutout dresses to flashing midriffs and crop tops, and the catsuit is no exception. Let's not forget Lizzo's undying devotion to the look, or Dua Lipa's stage-ready style. Looks like Savannah will have plenty of opportunities to bust out the catsuit for years to come. Back to Savannah's turn in the Miss Teen USA competition in 2016, she definitely showed up to win when it came to her athletic look. She wore a fresh sportswear set featuring skin-tight leggings and a boosted sports bra. But the style seems to be a favorite of Savannah's. And she's worn similar combos many times throughout her career. In July 2022, she took to Instagram to share a workout video in a similar look. And in May 2022, she went all out in athleisure to tease the upcoming season of Growing Up Chrisley. Savannah's go-to athletic ensembles are becoming familiar looks that she continues to rock with confidence. And as it turns out, it's not all for the gram. Savannah, don't you eat a pizza at a time? Well, yeah, but that's why I have a trainer. Savannah actually enjoys hitting it hard at the gym. As fans saw on Instagram in 2021, she worked up a sweat slamming ropes and heavy med balls. But working out isn't just something Savannah does for her body. She also relies on it to keep her mind on track. As she shared in a post, I do therapy and I love working out, especially when life gets rough. Plunging necklines were piping hot in the 2010s. Celebrities like Rihanna, Kim Kardashian, and Bella Hadid could be seen hitting high-profile events in low-cut blazers or body-contouring dresses with necklines that hit as low as they could go. And by 2016, Savannah was rocking this trend while attending an Unlikely Heroes charity event, stepping out in a glimmering black and silver pantsuit with a plunging neckline. She posed alongside Nikki Reed, Erica Grieve, and Angela Johnson on the red carpet. In 2022, a plunging neckline is still a fierce choice. You'll see it most often in red carpet formal wear, bikinis, and rave wear. And the V-neck cut has evolved into more of a U-shape. With all kinds of new backless, strapless, and plunging bras going viral on social media, there are more ways than ever to make the look work. I got to pick my wardrobe this time. <laughs> It must be why we've got things hanging out that shouldn't be. <laughs> Ultimately, it comes down to one key personality trait, which this reality star has in spades. As one celebrity stylist told the Deccan Chronicle, you need to be very confident if you're going to wear a plunging neckline. You can't keep tugging at it and looking uncomfortable. It is the confidence in wearing it that adds to the sexy look. This little black dress is pure 2015 winter formal. But even so, it's aged pretty well. 
Thanks to carefully placed black applique, Savannah looked chic with just a hint of sex appeal. But according to Savannah, this Walter collection piece was actually her backup pick. She revealed via Instagram, Michael Costello wouldn't dress me because I just wasn't famous enough for him. It's truly so sad. But then, Walter Collection dressed me in this gorgeous design and made me feel so much better. Several years later, she wore a similar outfit to the 2019 CMAs, which was designed by Youssef Al Yazmi. As far as the vibe Savannah typically hopes to portray on the red carpet, she explained to people, I want to be able to be a positive role model to girls and show them that you can look cute and you can look fashionable, while also being covered. I think that's my mission. Just create something that parents are going to want to love to buy for their daughters.